Hi, this is Abe from Visionscape, and today I'd like to show you some of the new features that we've added to Virtual Property Architect for our Fall 2012 release. We've added a new importer, we've completely redone our lighting and sky system, we've added a new category to the catalog, and we've also found ways to improve the way the software runs on your computer to make you more efficient and the software faster. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you our new lighting and sky system. Click on the view tab here. And I'm going to grab the slider and start rolling through the lighting here. So let's go from the early morning slowly through the afternoon and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. As the sun starts to rise, you notice that the sky has some really vibrant colors in it. We even get this great lens flare as the sun is visible. When we continue through, you'll notice that the clouds and the shadows in the scene are now a lot more realistic. As we scroll through to the afternoon, you notice that we get some really great afternoon sun. There we go. Perfect. So let's see those new clouds. We've replaced the cloud slider with a button system that makes it a lot easier to choose between different levels of cloudiness. We're really excited about this new lighting and sky system, and we hope that you enjoy it. But let's go back up to the sunshine so that we can work in the sun. Looking at this scene here, you'll notice that things look a little bit different. For example, where did this car come from? I'll show you. Under our main tab, we now have a SketchUp import button. SketchUp is a free online tool that lets you make complex 3D models. What we've been able to do is to find a way to import these models into our software so that anybody can add them to a scene and start applying our highly dynamic and realistic surfaces to these models to really enhance your designs and enhance the models themselves. I'm going to bring in this woodshed here. I'm in my downloads catalog because I downloaded this from the internet and it's in my download folder. I click on the woodshed. And I'm going to click open. The software is now going to bring this model into the software and allow me to choose what model type it is. This is a structure and set a name for it. I can also set a secondary name and a tertiary name if I want to. This is significant because this woodshed is now going to appear in my product catalog in my software in the future whenever I want to use it. And this is the name that it's going to have and the thumbnail it's going to appear with. So let's click add to scene and it's going to add that into my scene. You'll notice that the materials on this woodshed don't look quite as realistic as some of the others in our scene. That's because these are the basic SketchUp surfaces. So let's add our surfaces to them. I'm going to double click on the model, select the roof, open up my roofing catalog here, and add our materials by clicking Add to Scene. We can change the scale, and we can even change the angle if we want. Let's add a surface to the side of the woodshed here. Open up the catalog. Click on our siding now. Let's go with something bright. And here we go. We can change the scale of this model. We can change the orientation. We can do just about anything that we need to do here. But let's move it off to the side for now. Once I've added a model into the software, I can access it any time by finding the catalog that it's included in. For example, I go to our Landscape tab here and click on the Utilities catalog. Here I have all of my utilities. 
Under Imports, I've got some of the vehicles that I've imported, like this Ferrari. I'm going to click Add to Scene, and it doesn't need to run the import again. It already has it saved there. I can go in, and I can start editing it, just like I did before. Let's select our Metals Catalog. This is actually a newly revamped catalog we've added a lot of materials to for this release. Let's look at what we have here. We have basic metals, and we also have painted metals. You'll notice that all of the Visionscape materials look a lot better than the ones that come in with the SketchUp models. So you'll definitely want to add our Visionscape materials. This is a great way to enhance your designs, or if you're using SketchUp already, a great way to enhance your SketchUp models by bringing them into complete 3D scenes with dynamic lighting and applying the new surfaces to them. The next thing I'd like to show you is our recreation catalog. It's right up here under the landscape tab. Here we have a lot of court surfaces and outdoor recreation items. I'd also like to point out a couple of other components of the software. For example, now if we want to zoom to a specific area, all I need to do is bring my cursor over to that area and scroll in and it's going to automatically zoom into that direction. This makes it a lot easier to navigate the environment. And as always, we've improved the way the software runs on your computer and improved the efficiency of the program so that you can design faster and make stunningly realistic 3D landscape designs in incredible realism in a really short amount of time. If you want more information about the SketchUp importer, or about any of the features that I've mentioned here, you can check out our blog. You can download the software at visionscape.com or you can send us an email anytime at support at visionscape.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.